Okay, people. Weird concept. Let's say you have a dippy bird, but you want it to run forever rather than your cup of water uh, evaporating over, I don't know, probably a week or something. But let, let's say... Let's say you take a dippy bird and you stick it in a giant body of water like this bucket I have here filled partially with water. And then you tape a uh, weight on the bottom. That's a drill bit I have. I use plastic tape right now. That would obviously fall off after a while. This is a, um, a tube a pipe insulator um, used as a float. And... Um, you want it so that the, the majority of the buoyancy of the float is in the back behind the, um, on the bird's back so that, oh, there he goes, so that the, the beak is in the front. Um, and the other thing is you could probably, uh, in the future, you would probably want to do a 3d printed design of this with, um, that's a, that's a copper drill bit though it has a significant amount of weight um but you could insert the bit or insert a weight or whatever in the print have it be a pretty print put um you know make it look like a swan uh you could also possibly add some uh uh what do you call it airfoil um water wings such that as it dipped down it would actually have forward velocity um, in order to get it to travel across the body of water just based on the evaporation of the water off of its head um, and this is a two design model uh, what will happen is typically we'll synchronize where one goes and then the other will go uh, based on the fact that uh, um, they always seem to happen at different rates. So one of them will end up going. Right now it looks like that one's going to go and then that one's going to go. Um, let's see if that's the case. Uh, anyway, um, so that yeah, this one I just, this other one I had, I put a pencil down there um, for more... Um, for more weight uh, to get the weight lower actually uh, and I tried to keep the buoyancy such that the beaks were right above the water level because they don't move as much um, anyway this this single model is probably the best design okay and then in terms of functionality actual real real case scenarios I'm thinking uh, one as a toy attachment so you buy this uh uh thing that i said this 3d printed thing that attaches to one of these and then you could use it as a display in your fish tank at uh some kind of sushi restaurant kind of thing you know they got the little got a little pond with your fish in it and then maybe one of these things because you don't want a real duck in your pond <laughs> Um, uh, the other idea is, uh, any kind of water irritator, for example, if there are organisms in stagnant water and if movement, uh, you know, stopped, um, bacteria or like mosquito eggs or something like that from forming, then you could put one of these inside of a stagnant water barrel and it would uh, continually irritate the water. Um, that's all I gotta say. Oh, and uh, I'm calling these uh, swimming birds rather than dippy birds with these things on them. All right, have a good day. Bye.